Hey everyone, this is part two of my worst movie ever made uh, video. This is still a review, and I'm pretty much going to tell you one thing before I talk about this shitty, awful, goddamn piece of shit again. I'm going to say that my intros, I noticed that I haven't put my intros in a lot that much, only because I'm only going to put my intro in for game reviews. That's pretty much it. Only game reviews, no movies, no whatever, just game reviews, because really those are the you know, main things I get views from, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah, that's where I'm going to get the intro viewed mostly, so might as well put it for the intro, right? You know, I mean, for the game reviews. Anyway, let me go on to my tank girl. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this movie's pretty bad. I figured out, you know what, there's more stuff. I went on IMDb and I looked at errors I might have missed. I just want to tell you guys, there's a lot of them, and some of them I did notice, like the CGI one, but they didn't notice that one. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, so anyway. Oh, and then let me just mention the really generic names of some of these people. Noama Watt, she's, she stole a jet, so her name is Jet Girl. Yeah. Yep. She stole a jet halfway through the movie, so her name is Jet Girl. You know, and a Tank Girl, she stole a tank halfway through the movie. So what was her name in the beginning, really? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway. Yeah, it's probably stupid and no one cares and she's dumb. Anyway, let me go talk about some of the things I want to talk about. The horrible acting. One more time. Laura Petty, you should be ashamed. You're horrible in this movie. You're not funny. You're not cute. You try to be. And really, you're just bad. Okay? You are. I'd say you're probably one of the worst actresses I've seen. But Noama Watts pretty much covered that. Oh my god, Noama Watts, I don't know what happened, but in this movie, she's probably the most corniest one ever. There's a, there's a scene in this movie where pretty much, at the end, she kills this guy who we don't know anything really about, okay, and she goes, you know, he's like, uh, oh, he, he goes, oh, fuck me. And she's like, I told you, bang, I don't want to. <sighs> she blows off the gun, like, you know. I mean, like, this girl wasn't badass until she gets a gun. You know, she's like, oh, no, don't hurt me. And then she gets a gun, like, yeah. She's all fucking dirty, hairy, like, feeling lucky, punk? N yes? Boom. Wrong answer. Um, pretty sure that's not what happened. Dirty, hairy, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, the horrible acting, she really took the cake. Even, I would say Ice-T was better than both of those bimbos. Because, first of all, he he wasn't in the movie at all, pretty much, besides his voice. Uh, that's it. His voice is in the movie. That's it. So he can kind of get away with it a little bit, but these bitches can't because they're here all the time and they're annoying. Really annoying. Now, I also want to talk, well, yeah, let me talk about Malcolm McDowell, who is probably the cheesiest one in here, but for some reason, I, he's Malcolm McDowell. I love Malcolm McDowell. I don't know why. I mean, he's probably one of our cheesiest actors out there. He was in, was he, he was in... No, he wasn't in Get Smart. I was about to say, he was in Get Smart, was he? No, he wasn't. Uh, he was in, uh, what the fuck is that, uh, movie called? Uh, ha Halloween, there you go. Yeah, ha 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 Halloween. Yeah, he was in Halloween. Which, uh, he did good. He was Samuel Loomis, which is pretty good. Dr. Loomis, or whatever. I call him Samuel Loomis, because that's his name. The reason I, the reason I, I think he's, uh, He's really good in it is because he really just reminds me a lot of Donald Pleasance, who uh, sadly passed away, I think, when, 10 years ago, maybe? Yeah, who was a great actor, but yeah, he was also in the, what the fuck is it called? Uh, the fucking uh, Snake Plissken, what is that fucking? Uh, Escape from New York and, no, yeah, I think he was in Escape from New York, not L.A. Or Escape from L.A. and not you. I forgot which ones are sequels and whatever. I think the first one was New York and the second one's L.A. Or is it the other way around? I forgot. I'm not a huge fan of the movies, but I mean, I'm a huge fan of that character, but just not, not really the movies. I, I really like them. I'm just not like, oh, Snake Plissken. Like, yeah, whatever. I'm not like that. I ain't gonna post up a fucking poster on my wall and just worship it like I do with my Joker posters. Anyway. Let me talk about one more thing, the cartoon segments. Oh my god. They really, I just want to cover my eyes every time it happens. 
I mean, they're kind of well animated, they're just so fucking retarded, and they don't make any sense, so there's really no point of them whatsoever. <laughs> they're so stupid, they don't fucking make any sense. Some, I can't even see, explain them, because they don't make any fucking sense. I can't. I would have to show you one, but I don't want to get copyright and shit, so fuck that shit. Whenever I make my own big website, I might just move there with my YouTube and just say, Hey, everybody, go watch this review because it has copyright shit. Or if it doesn't have any copyright shit, just put it on YouTube. I might do that when I get, like, one of my big websites and shit, you know. I might just do that final tally, but I'm not sure. Anyway. And that has, that have to be a big, important movie for me to do that. Or a game. Well, a game I do that now, but... That's only because, I mean, I'm doing gameplay. I'm not doing, like, fucking clips from a movie. Because games, you could keep playing and playing. It's only fun when you play it, right? Sometimes it's fun to watch, but whatever. Um, a movie, that's all you do is watch. <laughs> this movie's not fun, I'm telling you that. I don't know who would actually go copyright, copyright to this piece of shit. I thought this movie would be, like, forgotten and that's it. But no, obviously, people really still like, copyright, copyright, this is our movie, stupid. Yeah, well, you can have it. It's all yours. Cartoon segments were horrible. And here's the cherry on the top of the shit sandwich, which makes no sense. I'm pretty sure I stole that from AVGN, too. Uh, the love story. This kangaroo guy, Ripper, I think his name is Booga in the movie. I don't know, retarded name. Falls in love pretty much with Tank Girl. Now, I'll tell you what everything's wrong about this. First of all, Tank Girl is a fucking retard. And, well, this kangaroo guy is a retard, so I guess they're really matched for each other. Uh, but, out of all those kangaroos, you have to go with the guy like, duh, duh, duh. Like, really? He's fucking retarded. Anyway, he re he really is. He's fucking retarded in this movie. And so is the fucking girl, so. I mean, she's hot in the movie. Kinda. Not really. But in the movie, she's supposed to be hot. That's what I meant to say. So, really, I mean, you could really get any guy kangaroo thing that he wanted, right? Yeah, I am right. Shut up. So, yeah. <sighs> he has to get the retarded one, not the smart one, not the jazz player. And, oh my god, there's a jazz playing kangaroo ripper monster thing. And, you know, he's the most stereotypical one. He's like, hey, brothers, I got a new rhythm for you. And he's like, <laughs> so, brother, yeah, brother, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, really? Come on, he's a kangaroo. I mean, these people were, you know, people before this. Because, you know, they drank the water that the guy tainted and like, oh, I'm turning into a kangaroo. What the fuck? Really? I mean, they, they become... I don't know why this guy wanted them to turn into this thing anyway. Because when they turn into the kangaroo things, they're more stronger and shit. So they'll just get revenge. I mean, the whole world will just come on against him and fucking rip his arms off. Uh, anyway, there's also one part where his arm does pretty much get blown off, which we don't see. It's like a big action moment. We don't see him get his arm shot off, or pretty much anything, pretty much. The Ripper's come and, like, do fucking gay-ass, uh, somersaults and loop-de-loops and shit. Um, yeah, yeah, his arm's gone, so he gets a new metal arm, which is probably the gayest thing and probably most useless. And they cut off his head and give him a holographic head. So, yeah. He's probably really vulnerable now because Tank Girl, this is the most anticlimactic fucking fight I've ever seen because she pours water on him. That's it, and he's dead. Because, you know, holographic head, you know. Really? Really? Might as well just kill myself right now. This movie is ne never going to end. Anyway, I want... For the last two minutes, I want to read some goofs that they goofed up on on IMDb, like I said. So here we go. Here's a revealing mistakes. In the final fight, as the Rippers lead up and throw an opponents from scaffolding at, uh, whatever. At least twice during that scene, you can see, uh, support wires for them. Which, uh, I did see. That's one I did. This one I didn't really notice. Continually... Uh, when Rebecca points the gun at her boyfriend, Rebecca's that stupid bitch that follows her, uh, tank girl around everywhere, I think, points the gun at her boyfriend, the laser sight is visible, but before she turns the corner, so, you know, there's a laser at him, but she's not even pointing the fucking gun at him, okay, that's fine, whatever, alright, when tank girl and jet girl are first gassy, captured by the kangaroo humans, 
Tank girl, tank girl's wrists are strapped together. During the insu- ensuing action, they become briefly untied before.